when one and a half grams of ammonia react with 20 grams of methyl chloride, we obtain 8.5 grams of tetramethyl ammonium chloride. And what they want us to do is calculate the percent yield of the reaction. So we have two starting materials. So we're going to have to calculate the limiting reagent. But before we calculate the limiting reagent, we make sure that the reaction is balanced. So I have one nitrogen here, one nitrogen over here. That's kind of good. We have three hydrogens plus three. That's six. That's 12. We are a little bit off on the hydrogens. Uh, we have two chlorides over here and one chloride over here. So after we're all done, you'll have three moles of the HCl and you will have four moles of the methyl chloride. All right, so is the ammonia the limiting reagent or is the methyl chloride the limiting reagent? So let's just pretend that it's the ammonia and see what we get. So we had 1.5 grams of ammonia. Ammonia uh, nitrogen is 15 plus 3, that gives you 18. 18 grams of ammonia is 1 mole of ammonia. According to the reaction, one mole of ammonia will produce one mole of the tetramethyl ammonium chloride. So one mole of ammonia, one mole of the tetramethyl ammonium chloride, methyl ammonium chloride. So I abbreviated it. And if you were to calculate this, that would actually be 110 grams per mole. So I'm going to multiply here by the molecular weight of the tetramethyl ammonium chloride. It's 110 grams of tetramethyl ammonium chloride. Notice that I went a little bit further than in the previous example. In the previous example, I stopped with the moles. This time around, I went all the way to grams of the tetramethyl ammonium chloride of the product to actually decide which one was, which one is the limiting reagent. Either way will be acceptable. Is your methyl chloride the limiting reagent? Well, I don't know. Let's calculate. They give us 20 grams of methyl chloride. Methyl chloride is 50 grams per mole. I need 4 moles of methyl ammonium chloride I'm sorry, of methyl chloride to make only one mole of the tetramethyl ammonium chloride. So I'm going to divide here. That's one mole of tetramethyl ammonium chloride. And the, the molecular weight of ammonium chloride is what I use at the very end. So I get 11 grams of the tetramethyl ammonium chloride. All right, so we have to decide which one is the limiting reagent. And the limiting reagent would give us the least amount of product. So ammonia is your limiting reagent. So ammonia is the limiting reagent. And if you were to actually do the reaction perfectly, everything going well, you would get 9.16 grams of tetramethyl ammonium chloride. But nobody's perfect, so that's not what they get. They actually get 8.5 grams. So the percent yield of the reaction is the amount that we actually get for real, which is the actual yield. Again, that's the one that you go to lab, you do the reaction. 
This one right here is the theoretical yield. And it's the yield again that we would get if everything was going perfect. You multiply by 100 because this is a percent. So my actual yield, it's 8.5 grams. You don't need to use a unit, I just put it there. 9.16 grams, that would be our theoretical yield, and we multiply by 100. That gives us a 92.794%. And now we have to actually cut it down. If you notice the numbers, this one has two significant figures. So we can go ahead and express our product, or our percent yield, to the right number of significant figures. So 93%. So notice that you cannot get more than 100% because, again, you can only get, if everything goes well, 9.16. So that is your theoretical. You never get that much. So you get less than that, and it's 93%. All right.